had seen as a niche in the market and our customers had helped us identify is that space between the R44 four-place helicopter, which is about a $400,000 helicopter, and the, the turbine market of a four and five-place light turbine starting about 1.2 million and up. It was a big gap. And proudly what we came up with was the R66 five-place helicopter that's in the $800,000 range. We work with a lot of applicants, and it's always a pleasure to work with the Robinson team. They're up front with us, they, they argue with us, but they do it in a very, very nice way so that they, they don't alienate us. Congratulations to the FAA team. And I will say, the FAA team loves to see companies succeed. So congratulations. I also want to thank the FAA team. Um, and it really was a team, from the quality folks, the manufacturing, uh, the engineering folks, the flight test, uh, the director, everyone across the board really worked as a team on this and uh, with Robinson's support uh, we met all of those critical milestones and it's really fantastic today that we issued the type certificate with no issues that are open, uh, all of the maintenance requirements are completed, so job well done. And at this point I'd like to uh, invite Mr. Frank Robinson to come and join me. Frank, after I think it's about seven years since we started the project and uh, really intense over the past couple of years, uh, it's with great honor uh, that on behalf of the FAA, I can award you the type certificate for the R66. Congratulations. <laughs> it sure is a relief and a very welcome. Thank you. Now you're just lacking one little short thing, and that's the production certificate. So I'd like to present that. You're very, very welcome. Because this means we can actually produce the things that we have worked on. And that's I'd collect money for that. We'd like to propose a toast to the success of the R66 and to all the, the people, companies, and officials that have all worked so hard to make this possible. Thank you. Well, finally, uh, the word Robinson and turbine engine won't be an oxymoron, which is kind of nice. We've always had uh, everybody, when they talk about us, they go, oh, yeah, the David Pistons. Um, Frank has always said that it, we only picked the piston because for the 22 and the 44, it was the right engine for the right airframe. And if we wanted a bigger ship, we would pick the right engine for the right airframe. Lucky for us, Rolls Royce came along and they had the right engine for the R66. And with that, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Ken Roberts, the uh, president of uh, Helicopter engines with Rolls Royce. On behalf of the entire Rolls Royce team, it's a great honor to recognize Robinson Helicopter today and celebrate the FAA certification of the R66. The relationship between Rolls Royce and Allison goes back a good long while. We really began discussing this project in earnest in 2005. And Frank articulated very clearly at that time his vision for the R66, an entry-level turbine helicopter to extend Robinson's traditional strength and piston engine aircraft in the marketplace. In late 2005, and Frank, some of my team, I remember over the Christmas holidays of 2005, we completed a development agreement and the rest is history. We subsequently created the R300 engine tailored for this aircraft and with Pete's help, with the technical leadership, with Kurt, Frank, and the rest of the team here. Today, we're here to celebrate the realization of that vision with the R66. Um, first of all, Frank, uh, you finally did it, huh? <laughs> so, um, I've, I've heard a couple times uh, 
this project's been going on about seven years, and uh, that was when we first made our first application to the FAA for the uh, for this project. But I, I was looking last week at my notes, and the earliest notes I could find was in January of 2001. And what we had done at that time, we'd taken an old R44 cabin, and we cut it down the middle and widened it uh, six inches at the time. And uh, then the engineers spent a lot of time sitting three across in the back, trying to see if that was comfortable. In fact, Frank, I think you were uh, joined in on uh, the three across seating sessions there, right? So um, after a while, we realized we needed about two more inches. So now it's about eight inches wider, right? That's when it started. And then um, in uh, 2003, we made our first FAA application and had our first meeting with the FAA in January of 2004. Uh, that's when we renamed it the R66. Up until that point, it was the R55. So that, that changed at that time. And then um, things were moving fairly slowly because the engine wasn't quite right for, for our application. And it wasn't until the uh, middle of 2005 that uh, Rolls-Royce made the commitment to design us the, uh, the new model, the R300. And that's when things really took off. And it was in uh, August of 2007, so just a little over three years ago, when we first covered the first prototype. So uh, we've done a lot in the last three years. Uh, since then, we've done a lot of uh, cabin testing and uh, mods to the cabin to meet the new regulations, the crashworthiness regulations, as well as uh, a, a lot of uh, dynamic testing. In fact, I saw one of the pictures over here where we have the crash test dummies in the seats to pass the new, uh, the new um, energy absorbing uh, seat requirements. And of course, meanwhile, we're doing a lot of flight testing and refining the, uh, the, the design and a lot of analysis. And so it was finally this summer when we got the approval to do the FAA flight testing. And uh, that went really well, it went all summer, and we actually finished it just the week before last. And uh, so, and actually, um, we've been working really hard right up until Friday night to get uh, to meet today's deadline. So we are really relieved. I want to share all of you that everyone working on the 66 has been committed to building the best and safest helicopter possible. All right? Thank you. Okay, well I have the task and the privilege of delivering the very first production R66 helicopter. And it is our, our privilege and our delight to present to you the first R66 production ship. I've had a long time relationship with Robinson Helicopters and uh, have absolutely no apprehension at all. Uh, it is truly, in my opinion, the safest helicopter flying, and I look forward to many, many more long years of flying in our new R66. We have uh, three 66s here, one of which is already sold, um, but please feel free to take a look at that and enjoy the, uh, the food and the wine, and uh, thank you again for all coming.